Today I'm assembling my three-way, three-frame mating nukes. Um, it's just a 10-frame box divided into three, three sections, three frames a piece. Um, the half-inch divider wall. Um, I made some last year. The last year's one was wax dipped and then I painted it a little bit right after it came out of the wax dipper um this one I have screens two inch screen vents in the bottom and uh I got it so it uh, has separate bottom boards but this bottom board is a lot of extra work. So this year, the ones I made this year, I just made them deeper so that all I have to do is fasten a piece of plywood to the bottom of it. And I put inch and a half by three eighths entrances for these. Um, So I just don't see any reason to to have this separate. Just build it all as one. It's and just dedicate it just to a just dedicate it to a mating nuke, and that's it. And uh, show you a couple things that I do to get the entrances. Set my dado blade at three eighths tall. And then I set it for the left side there. And then after I get done making that pass, then I put a three quarter inch board along my fence. Slide along to get the other the other half of the doorway. I'll show you. Oh, I got uh, to make the grooves for the the half inch divider walls. I just uh, made a little template to run my router through. So I just run my Turn my router through, make that groove. Gives me a nice dado. Slide it over. Then I can run it through and make another dado for the other side. Um, you could do it on a table saw, but it just uh, require moving the fence too much for me. So. Um, basic. The box is just the same as any other box, 10 frame box. It's uh, 16 and a quarter wide, 19 and 7 eighths long. But I made it 10 inches deep instead of 9 and 5 eighths or 9 and 3 quarters. Then I uh, just ran a rabbit, 3 quarter inch rabbit around three sides for the frame rests. And uh, so that's about it, I guess. Um, I got 11 of them to, to assemble today. So with this 11, it's, I should be able to make uh, 100 queens at a time now, instead of 70 something. I just gotta get the vents and the screen in too. Um, I don't make special lids for it neither. I just put on the Reflectix and then put a piece of styrofoam for a lid. And throw a brick on it. And that's how I'll use it for, I only use it for a couple months and. June and July, 
mating queens and then back in the shed they go. And another project I got just got done was I made these feeders for my for my six frame nukes. The bees will come up this gap here, come in and eat. I'll put some straw in there with the syrup. I got a little uh for Paul and Patty's little half inch rim around it. Um, I'm gonna wax dip them too. And if it don't work, well, I guess I made a whole bunch of cool drawers. <laughs> um, another thing I got done was I built a, a honey warming cabinet. It's insulated with half inch styrofoam. I use queen excluder for the heat to go rise up with. Just have this heat lamp hooked to an ink bird and just set it to, I think it's set to 91. So, been busy this winter assembling things. Well, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks.